Hello, Graphanatics! Wish that your data could speak to you like a fuel gauge in a car? Just imagine, instead of guessing if you are running low on coffee supply or server capacity, or speaking of coffee, if the pot is overflowing, you could see it instantly. So, in today's episode, we'll show you how to use the gauge panels to make your dashboards clear like your car's fuel gauge with Grafana's gauge panel. Buckle up, as we're about to begin! Gauges are single-value visualizations that will repeat a gauge for every series, column, or row. This makes them perfect for quickly assessing key metrics at a glance. Whatever you are tracking server load, monitoring sales targets, or keeping an eye on network traffic, gauges give you a clear and immediate view of your data's vital signs. So why don't we start creating one to explain these repetitions according to data and the customizations that we can do on them. We will use Grafana Play to create our first gauge panel. The steps will work as well in a local Grafana setup. To access Grafana Play, link in the corner. Grafana Play's home screen is a dashboard. Here, you can follow these steps to add a panel. In the panel editor, set the panel as gauge in the top right corner, and that's it. You have your first gauge panel. In it, you can quickly modify the title, description, transparency, links, and repeat options in the panel options. For now, we will just change the title to my first gauge. Pretty. The data source here will be the last data source that I have used, which is the random walk in the test data data source. We will continue using the test data data source today. For more information about it, link in the corner. But for now, I am not sure of uh, what those numbers in the graph mean. And you may even have an empty gauge. So why don't we dive right into the data needs and possibilities for the gauge panel? As mentioned earlier, a gauge panel can paint a gauge for every series, column, or row in your data. It can paint every cell in the table returned by your query. So to understand better, down in this video's description is a set of CSVs that we will use today. So let's copy the first one and paste it in the test data data source, selecting the CSV content. The pasted data has two rows, many numeric columns, and one text column. Wow! Pasting it makes lots of gauges appear suddenly for each column. But you may have noticed a few things like that just the last row appears, or that the text column is skipped, or also that the column titles are automatically displayed. Why is that? Well, we will look into those settings in a moment. But back to the display data. With this, you can automatically display multiple readings at once. Another cool thing is that the panel automatically sets the max and minimum values of the gauges from the highest and smallest returned by the query. Let's paste the next CSV set of values and check how they are displayed. Again, all them are available in the video description. Copying the set labeled as just one, you can see only one gauge. Cleaner and easier, but the gauge meter is full. Well, that is because it has only one value. Remember, the panel detects max and minimum values automatically from the query data. In cases like this, you can use a setting that we will see in a moment to define max and minimum. Let's go for the next set of values, the max mean included data set from the CSV included in the description again. Once pasted, you had the value correctly displaying the gauge, but you also have the max and minimum values displayed. Not so cool, right? All these things are customizations. So why don't we dive into them and clear up those questions such as why were only the last values on the bottom of the data displayed? Or where were the first ones? Or how to hide the max and minimum values and much more. So let's find out what these customizations are. We already talked about the general panel options, so let's move on to the value options. Here, the first option is the show. It allows us to change between displaying, calculated, or all the values. Let's start with the easiest, all the values. This tells the panel to display everything. As you can tell, the first row values have now appeared as well. We have more options like the display limit, in case you have too many gauge values. And under it, you can indicate if you want to display all the numeric values in the query all the fields, even if they are not gaugeable, like texts. Here you can also select a given field to display. This is useful, again, if you have a parameter defining max and minimum, but the displayed value is another one. Now the calculate display will have calculations. By default, you have last, 
and that is why earlier the last row was the one being displayed. Here you can select to display maybe the first one, the maximums, averages, and all sorts of calculations. Then, similar to the all values, you can define what field to focus on. Now the gauge options customize some gauge display settings, such as the orientation of the display, being automatic, horizontal, or vertical, when you have multiple gauges. But don't worry if you select horizontal and only text is visible, just give the gauges a little bit more space and they will appear. Or we can use the options at the bottom to affect the size. Setting as manual, you will get a slide bar where you can make them huge. But okay, let's keep them automatic in orientation and size. You can also modify things such as displaying or not the thresholds and their labels. And the last option is neutral, which is the starting point for the gauges, usually kept empty. The next settings are very straightforward. You can affect the text size of the titles under the gauges and the values inside of them. Straightforward. Personally, I like them automatics. Let Grafana do the work, right? Now, in the standard options, you can change things like the unit of the value, being miles or kilometers or temperature, etc. We have as well the minimum and maximum values in case you don't have them or want to pull them from the query data. You can also define them here. Again, if left empty, they are automatically defined from the values returned by your query. Speaking of automatic, if you have a list of values per field, you can turn on the field calculation to pull them from each field set of values and not from the whole returned table. Lastly, you can set things like the number of decimals you want, the title displayed under the gauge, the color scheme, and what to display when there are no values. Speaking of the color scheme, gauge colors displayed depend on the thresholds that you define in the last tab of the settings. Clicking apply will display your new gauge panel, which you can resize and move at will. You can place the panel together with many other panels out there. If you want to learn more, check the videos on screen. But now you can create and customize gauge panels. As usually, let us know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them down below here. Happy dashboarding and have a good one.